thank you. Um, you. You can understand it's awkward to be speaking from that podium when the president is here. <laughs> uh, that is the quickest way to get my salary slashed. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Your Excellency and uh, all who are here, I'll just try and address the issue of um, uh, the numbers that uh, you have mentioned. Because at right now, at 65%, I think we are spending 1.4 trillion. 1.1. And if we move to 100%, we shall hit 1.8 uh, trillion. Clearly, that is not tenable. Um, and therefore, without really repeating myself in terms of what has been said here, because I think they've been captured, it is for us to resolve to address this challenge of the huge wage bill. In simple terms, a bloated wage bill means more debt, it means more taxes. Because it has a priority call on the consolidated fund. So more wages, more debt. More wages, more tax. The president is always told you are taxing. Messages come, listen to your people. Some of us here engage in that chorus, actually criticizing and even emphasizing that he's overtaxing. What are you doing in your own center of authority to shed off the excess weight? That should be the fundamental question here. Previously, we have had retrenchment we have had the golden handshakes in the past, all targeted at trying to address the issue of the wage bill. So if we have to get to where we are, we then have to figure out how do we leverage on technology as a critical intervention on addressing the wage bill? How does parliament play its role? How do the county governments play their role and how do we prioritize our overall programs in the economy so that we do not suck the energy out of the economy by a bloated wage bill? Finally, Your Excellency, with your permission, just to emphasize that as we discuss the issue of the bloated wage bill, we must also address ourselves to what is the real wage what is the living wage? Because if inflation continues to bite us because we are not taking quick decisions, then we shall not just be talking of a bloated wage bill in the context of numbers of people employed, but we shall be talking of a wage bill because people are trying to chase more value for their shilling, and that again eats into it. And finally, the Chief Justice is here. We must also ask ourselves, when courts make decisions, particularly the Labor Court, when you give awards, what is the scientific process that you have used to arrive at that wage that you're actually awarding? And what does it mean for the broader economy. I think Thank that you. is my end of my That is fantastic. Thank you. We had a question for the Deputy President, which he will address during his remarks regarding a whole-of-government approach, allowing us to bring this to a close, Your Excellency, with your final remarks.